as in a box lab. In this lab, we're going to create a miniature DNS system. Let's save the lab setup first. Follow this lab menu. First, we will set up the environment. Okay, the images are built. Now the containers, two networks are created. And uh, five containers are running. We have four containers, not five. I root a uh, ETL, uh, example ETL, uh, local DNS. This uh, is the washing machine. Uh, we have local DNS server, root server, ETL server, and example.ETL server. This uh, follows the water from left to, to right, just similar to a DNS uh, query water. The user send out a DNS, uh, DNS query to the local DNS server. If it uh, does not have the answer in its cache, it will send out a DNS uh, query to the root server, then to the top level domain server, then to the uh, a solid uh, title server. Root ETO, example to the ETO. So we can open uh, four tabs. Arrange it in uh, this order. Oh, sorry. Dock share to open a share into this uh, container. Okay, this is our local DNS server. And the root server.
top level domain server Then the example dot edu server. We open a tab. This one as a user the virtual machine. We work the form here. Uh, please read this manual by yourself carefully. Command set up the commands. You have practiced uh, these commands many times. So Docker compose compose file. And then the uh, images. Okay, now let's go through these uh, tasks. Task one: building the name server for example.edu. These are the configuration files. This is example.edu. Uh, here are the configuration files, default zone, seed labs, and so on. Here it asks us add an entry to the named.conf.seed labs file. Here, this one. That file is included in a modified named.conf file. We can uh, verify that. Okay, in this uh, named.com file, you see this uh, seed labs file is included. We are going to add this entry used to indicate that the current name server is the master server for this domain and the file is specified in the file entry. When you check that, we have uh, example.edu.db. This is a zone file. We can use the nano to edit the this configuration file currently is empty. We will add a zone example dot type is master zone file. Ctrl-O to write out, Ctrl-X to exit, Ctrl-O, press enter, Ctrl-X, exit. Now create the zone file, the zone file example.idea.db is already provided. We are asked to uh, modify this part. Here the name server for the idea 
example video is uh, this server with this IP address. Okay, here it is. The name server is IP address. We will change it to uh, the IP address. The example.edu. To paste text control u card buffer is empty it cannot be done like this because it's inside a container 10.9.0.65 for other part we don't need to uh, modify. Okay, now Control O to save it. Press Enter. Control X exit. Now test. Before the test, I would like to use uh, some program. To check, uh, here you see you type a uh, name, press your tab key, you will have two programs. This one is used to uh, check zone, this one is used to check the configuration file to see whether there are any uh, problems. Check configuration file is that. We want to know it, right? It's named dot conf dot seed labs. And you see uh, no errors. Check zone. Uh, example dot idea dot db. The syntax is check zone and you need to specify the zone name and the file name. Other options you can check the menu. Zone name is example.edu. Press enter and you see it says it's OK. And the serial number is this one. So there is no typo, no error in our zone file. Now we will save to test our DNS, DNS server. We use dig command add this uh, example.edu name server. Try to find uh, this uh, address for this www.example.edu in our user tab at and it should be uh, this IP address 1.2.3.5 Okay, check here. Answer is uh, zero. We didn't get an answer. So the reason is uh, after we create zone file and modify those configuration file, we need to restart 
restart the brand DNS uh, service. The service name is called uh, named. Okay, you see, okay, okay. Now it's uh, restarted. We query it again. Then we get the answer. One dot two dot three dot five. One query, one answer, one solidity, zero additional is one. Here we want to. Uh, Add some information in the authority later. Okay, this step three is done. We got the correct answer. Task two building the ideal top level domain server. We need to add the following zone entry to the named.conf seed labs file. This part. This is the top level domain or DO server. Here named.conf.seed uh, labs is manual. Okay, it's uh, already added for us. This is done. So we just control X to ex exit. The zoom file is a space file. Uh, yeah, we already know the stuff. And for uh, double check, we just uh, cat this. this one so you can compare content with this one we are asked to create a zoom file we need to add records to the zoom file the zoom file is provided but is incomplete we should make uh, all the necessary changes All the name servers within the ETO domain must uh, register their name servers with this TLD server. Otherwise, nobody uh, can find them. As an example, two records for SYR.EDO domain, uh, an NS record and an A record. Let's have a look. In the zone for idio.db, here is the zone for is a idio.db. Here again, we need to uh, change the IP address to our top level domain server. This IP address is 10.9.0.6. I'll change this one to this IP address. Here are real records for SYR.edu. So we need to add one for our example.edu. And manual. Dot sixty. Sixty is our video TLD server. 
this one. Then we need to add a record here. Add a record in the following with our example dot edu name server the as example dot edu uh, pay attention here I didn't uh, complete I missed that the dot on the name server example.edu so the name name server for our as example.edu is uh, this one dot sixty five I now we can uh, type control to save it press enter control S to quit It will be complete everything. This is a task. First, uh, register the example.edu name server with the TRD server. Choose three real domain names and then register them with this uh, TRD server. You can find the name server for a domain using DIC for the, for the name and AS, for example, this one. Okay, we still need to add uh, three of them. I just add one as an example. The other two you can add by yourself. So we can open it. And add uh, one more here. How do we get it? We use this uh, dig command. For example, pnw.edu as. Then you see uh, there are six name server. What is a pnw.edu? So let's just choose one. I would like to choose this one. It's up to you to choose which one. Or you add all of them. This is a real record. The name ADMT. address how do you 
find his IP address. We use a dig, right? Just dig this uh, admt.pnw.edu. Then you get its IP address. Okay, that's it. You need to add two more. Control to save it. Press enter. Control X. Quit. Now we need to uh, check the zone file. So name is edu. Here we have uh, it says this one auto zone has no address is record. This one missing a a a a record IPv6 uh, record serial so number is okay. There are two warnings. We can use a cat to have a look. It says this one auto zone has no address is record as dot example dot area. I have a record here. And no complaint for this one. There is a complaint for SYR.ETO. It says no uh, IPv6 address. How does this uh, program know the true answers? Right? It says no uh, address is a record. And here we see uh, this uh, AAA records. It looks like this one also asked those for those uh, two records. Anyway, just ignore those uh, warnings. Let's continue. Now we can test our name server. Before that, we want to restart it. Don't forget. Service name restart. Okay, okay. Now we can did add this time is a top level domain. Here you see uh, what we get. The answer, but we do get the authority. One authority. Here it is. This is a question section. The authority section. It uh, looks for the names 
server for this example.edu and the address, IP address is what we set, uh, so it's right. It works as uh, expected, but that check zone says it uh, is auto zone because in the real world uh, does not exist. Now try a real one. This way auto do. We get the answer. Okay, answer is zero or solid one. I get the next level. We ask the top level domains so uh, to ask for the name server for this domain and we also get its IP address now check the one we added Here, this is the one we added. The name server for this uh, domain and its IP address. You need to pay attention to this part where we got this information. They are from our top level domain server. This our top level domain server. Here also uh, the same. You need to uh, highlight this part in your report. And a domain not included in your zone query. Let's say mit.edu. get zero answer one authority this authority section is just give us the top level domain the answer is from our top level domain uh, name server because we don't have that uh, record For manage it, we don't have a name server for this mit.edu in our zone file. So only the top level domain name server are here please pay attention the edu top level domain server is configured not to conduct the recursive query. The only tells us the name server for the domain name in the query and it will not resolve the query for us now let's build the root server again we put everything in this seed labs configuration file a zone file called uh, root.db root server you see that uh, root.db so let's uh, check the contents and there's a seed labs there's a root term it's in the dot next uh, root.db check the zone file here these are contents we have the 
name server a dot root dash seed dot net dot here it is the following information is from the real world dns system this one for the dot com this this one for the dot net that's the same so this this one is used to manage uh, both dot com and dot net here is the uh, IP address now we are asked to add records in the following Here, the data in the records are real data. They are managed by the same company. So they have the same name server here. The task register your EDU name server with this uh, root server. And use Nano. Okay, add our edu name server. Our name server for the edu top level domain name server. Do we have a name for that? This is our. Video name server. We can uh, give it a name. Any suggestion name uh, given here? No, we didn't have uh, any uh, suggestion name given here. So we may uh, like to use uh, any uh, interesting name, just like uh, here. The suggest name is given to us, certainly you can use uh, any name you like. But this is a video name server. We need this one. Oops, we cannot copy between these uh, containers. The name server here a dot trd dash edu dash servers dot edu I want to uh, paste here okay from container to container it worked Then I need to uh, add this IP address. Just follow this, these two lines. Let's specify the name server for our EDU top level domain. Uh, IP address. The IP address of uh, how did your top level domain server is this one?
Next, we are asked to choose two more real TLD names and register them with this uh, TLD server. One of the TLDs should be a country code, which is the root for country. You can find the name server or TLD domain name using this uh, command. And you can also find all the TLD information from here. Okay, let's add a. Let's just add a one. You may add a two, two more. I would like to add a CN, the country code for China. To get the information, you can get from here. Scroll down to find uh, CN. Oh, it's a long list. Here, CR, CPA, so many interesting names. College, that's interesting. Coffee, cold, coach. Here's the end. I will choose this one. Okay, this is, uh, this number is a TDL. You may specify an uh, independent uh, TDL. It's up to you. You want to delete it or change it to another number. The CN name server. Now I want to find the IP address of this name server. Type address of this one. A dot DNS dot CN. You see it has an IPv4 and an IPv6. I choose this uh, IPv4. Again, you can copy this one directly. here. I don't know why uh, at the beginning when I copy paste it uh, didn't work. Now it worked. Okay, did a uh, country code. You are asked to uh, add two more. I just add one. You may like the command to get it quickly. But from here, you can see many uh, interesting information. Okay, now let's uh, test again. 
on the dear command from your saying DNS query to the root name server. Let's save it. Ctrl R, press enter, Ctrl X, quit. Again, we want to check it first. Check zone. No. This time, zone is a root zone. Name is a root. Here, you see it says this a.ns is missing this uh, IPv6. No, we, we can confirm this name dash check zone. It uh, will go to the internet to find the real record and compare those real records with with our uh, fake record. Actually not fake, we just copy part of those real record. Here it means in this uh, IPv6 again has no address uh, records because this one is ours it does not exist in the real world. We want to know here is it okay, just ignore those warnings Restart our name server. Okay, restart it. Okay, go to the user machine to dig those uh, top level domain server. We want to dig uh, how do we test it? We can just test test those uh, top level domain. For example, we just dig. CN, but first we want to dig our EDU. This is the most important part in our task. Here you see the answer. The name server for our .edu is our top level domain server of our EDU. So this right, and also it's from our root uh, domain server. Now for that CN, the real one from our root server, this is the real name server. So everything worked as expected. Task file building the local DNS server. This is our local DNS server. Default zones. There is entry for the root zone. So let's check. Check it. Here in this um, name.conf, we have default dash zones. In this uh, default zones. So in this default zones, prime the server with the knowledge of the root servers. This is a root server. A uh, root zone. A hint. So what is a uh, hints for about? This entry specifies a hint file for root zone. And that's how the local DNS server knows the IP address of the root server. 
the root hint uh, file specifies the main server for the root zone. There's a root hint file setting uh, name servers for the root zone. Both uh, IPv4 and v6 addresses are provided. Now, in our local DNS server folder, in the left side of the file, there's an empty file called root.hints. It will be copied to this place. Now, we need to add records to this file, so our local DNS server can use our root server instead of using the ones in the real world. So let's check it. Here first, this is how it finds the root servers. The other part, there is a local host authoritative for local host forward and reverse zones or broadcast zones as the process RFC. There's a reverse zone for this local host zone. So the other two are set for broadcast. If you want to learn more, check this uh, document. There's no uh, root uh, server specified here. It's because it's uh, specified in uh, the hint file. Uh, in the hint file. So we can go to this hint file to have a look. As I said, it's empty. We get its content. It is empty. Now, let's add uh, records into that hint file. With a nano, open it. Now, this is the root domain. Give it a TTL time to live. The name server is our root server. So, what our root the name for our root server? This is our root. Right? Our root server is called a dot root dash seed dot net. So this one, this is a name server. Also, we know it's an uh, IP address. Here, we, we didn't uh, give an IP address. For uh, root-c.net. Usually they are specified in the hint file, just like this. So in this uh, hint file, specify the address here our root server paste here okay that's it we only have uh, one root server Control R, save it. Press Enter. Control uh, X, quit. Now, how do we check that hint hint file? Just check the manually. I don't know whether you can use uh, that uh, check zone. Maybe you can have a try.
the wild moment. The hint file is check zone is uh, run on name server. Here we are uh, local DNS name server. Let's have a try. Check zone. There's a root name. No, that's not a zone file. So we should get an error. This does not make sense. It's not a zone file. So we just check the manual. Now we test it from our virtual machine to send the DNS query to the local DNS server. Again, we need to restart the service. Okay, it's uh, restarted. Now, in our uh, virtual machine, let's pick those uh, domain names. This is our local DNS server, 53. 53. Example.edu record from our local DNS server and get this IP address. That's right, right? We know that com we don't have this one so it get a real answer for us because our local DNS server send out DNS query to the real out the internet and we get this real IP address for the example.com example.net Again, we get the real uh, IP address. It's sent out by our local DNS server. For the seed kills university is yr.edu. from our server and we get the real result because we have a real result in our configure in our uh, configurations the zone files try one registered with your root uh, server X Y Z C N. No, it does not exist. Oops, it is, does exist, and we get a real answer. Right. So I think this name does not exist, but it uh, does. And not register with your door server, for example, uh, French. No, it, uh, that one is not uh, registered with our door server. Now, what do we get? One we set in our door server. But we don't have answer. Answer is zero because our uh, root server 
just send out this information I don't know what the usage for this information as we know in the manual it says oh, this is not a conflict to work iteratively so it will not uh, go further to ask for the answer okay I don't know how to explain this further now configure our virtual machine to use this is a local DNS server. The local DNS server, we need to specify it as the dig command. If we, we want to configure our virtual machine to use this local DNS server automatically without this add. How do we do that? It says it can be done for the name server in this file, let's have a try. First, I would like to uh, show its contents. Header. So, this all is inside the head file. And it says don't add to this file by hand. Your chains will be overwritten. You can use this one to see details about the actual name servers. Have a look. Just curious. Now you see a change the sec. It's not supported, it's turned off, DNS sec. DNS over TLS is also turned off. Multicast DNS turn off. What's this one? I don't know. Just Google it. Here, you know this, this string for our containers. Docker and this one for our virtual machine. Call the DNS server. Okay, let's uh, add name server to that file. Uh, use a uh, VI. You may use Nano uh, as you like or any other editors. I think it's an uh, easier editor. G editor. So you can follow. We need a sudo. No, add the name server. Control V, Control S, save it, close it. Update. Now, I want to check the contents. Cat. Right, the name server is here. Now we can dig without uh, at dig abc dot example dot edu. 
can see this uh, IP address. This is uh, main server. This is our uh, local DNS server. And we got this uh, fake IP address. So everything worked as uh, expected. Now, note, very, very important. After finishing this, uh, finishing this lab, please do rem remember to remove the added uh, entry from this one. Otherwise, it will cause a lot of problems for your future labs. And task seven make it uh, more realistic by adding name servers or records to our system. Add two more root server. And pick two of the TLDs registered with your root server. Build a second level domain for each of them. Here, how do you add two more uh, root servers? And we are asked to create C in this lab. The real world it has C different IP addresses for the root server. So you can follow that composer file to create two more. And you are asked to uh, pick two of the TLDs register with your root server build a second level domain for each of them. Use your last name as domain name. For example, smith.tld2, smith.tld1. Okay, let's uh, get rid of restore that head file first. A little this line uh, coming out. Conjures save it. Up to configure it. Okay, that's done. Now how do you play it? Two more root server. Task server. And name server is locked in as server in the lab setup. The doc compose dot ml can open with the text editor. Here you can find the edu server and the root server. So you can copy and paste this one root server and give it a different address for example 31 control c local dns server networks just one network not two networks one network uh, uh, a root server root server one this our old one root server one root server two image root server Contain the name and the IP address. We will use a uh, root stage server to for the image. For the same image. Server three maybe you can make it more uh, readable. Your server one is thirty one, 
also to set to node server 3 Series 3 Con S save it Okay, now let's uh, power off all these uh, containers Ctrl D, Ctrl D Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D Then you type DC uh, down However, we need to DC down first, maybe Because I already modified this composer file error so we'd better uh, power of them first then modify this uh, compose file control C control C again now we will uh, find all those containers and remove them Did you see there is a container here? It's not removed. Container ID. Check it again. No, all the containers are removed. Then we use a DC build. DC up. You see three routes are created. New tab dot ps. So we have uh, three routes and uh, edu uh, local DNS server example dash edu. And that's how you create uh, more routes for other uh, tasks. You can do by yourself follow the steps we just demonstrated. Again, clean up LCD down. Ctrl D, Ctrl D, Ctrl D. Okay, everything is cleaned. 